Sophia and welcome back to SJ Fantastic. Today I'm going to show all of you how to draw different types of eyes. So this was requested by my friend Brooke so hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Also also and this is inspired by the Art and Christine Laurie. I'll link their channels in the description so if you want to check them out because they are really good drawers artists and I definitely recommend you guys should go and check out their channels. So let's just get right on into it. So here I have my pencil case, let me just get my tools out that I'll be using for today, there's a box, here is the pencil, I got this pencil case from River Island by the way, so, okay so now that I have all the tools out, we're gonna start drawing, so wait, so I just adjusted the camera so you guys can see this a little bit better. So you're going to start off by drawing the top part of the eye. If it doesn't look too good right now, you can clean it up later. Then you're going to do the under part of it. And make sure like that part's a little bit like curved over there. So I'm going to put like the, I can't exactly remember what it's called, I think it's like the tear duct. But you'll put that there. You just put it in right now so it's gonna look like then you're going to do the eyeball ignore the train just going by but now you have the basic shape of the eye it should look like an eye i'm just gonna adjust the uh I'm gonna adjust the eyelash now on with the eyelashes i actually really like doing this part so i like to make my eyelashes quite thick so the eye line to start, I'm just shading that in. By the way, if you find this helpful as a tutorial, that's great. You can comment down below how you thought and how you think about the video so far and the end result when it comes out. So now for this part, you're gonna shade it, but like very lightly. Apologies if it doesn't look the best with the colouring because I don't really like colour my drawings. I only like colour them digitally when I'm on like my iPad or like a tablet or something. Then for the people, you want to make this darker and do a circle. You can do like a star, heart, um, square if you wanted to. So it should be starting to look like a lot more like an eye. Let me just bring it up for you guys to see that's what it's looking like so far now you're gonna for the shine of the eye I'm just gonna use the eraser at the bottom of my pencil you're gonna do some sort of circle again like what I said you can do a square a heart a star and you're gonna outline that now you guys are probably expecting me to be done but I'm not finished yet so I don't oh mind, I just like to shake that part in sometimes. But now you're gonna do like the actual eyelash part. So I'm going to use a pen to do this. I have a purple Z grip pen. Then, so I basically, it's pen working. All right, so you basically just do that. Make it nice and sort of luscious. I can't exactly remember. Then for this part, following the Christian Laurie tutorial, you can like, you don't have to always do it like all the way. Sometimes I like to separate it quite a lot. Now you're gonna do the actual lashes. The reason why I like to do it with pen, cause sometimes with the pencil, the pencils aren't always like too sharp. So with the pen, you don't have to sharpen it. So. That's why sometimes I prefer doing it with a pen because the pen gives you a lot of texture and yeah, that's why I like doing it with a pen sometimes. Then following the shape of the under part of the eye, you can do that like we did at the top but you don't have to separate it if you want to, you can. Now you're going to do the same thing with the lashes. And there you go there is the first one 
Hope you guys like this one. Let's get on to the second one. I'm not too sure if you would call this eye like realistic or not, but it kind of looks similar to this one, but it's slightly smaller. So you're going to do like what we did first with the other one, but this one isn't as big as you can see right here. So do that same thing with the eye. I think I might do the lash first. But like I usually make my lashes like quite long. You can adjust it if you want to. Now doing the eyelash, well the lash line, shading it in. Also apologies if the um, apologies if the camera shakes a little bit. I'm filming in my bedroom, so sometimes things get a little bit shaky, but that's okay. Then you have the under part, tear duct. I'm doing this like a little bit more like a circle this time. That's why I said it was a little bit more like kind of more realistic on the realistic side. Then you have the pupil and the shine. I'm making them like the shine come in, kind of come into the uh, pupil. Now I'm only shading part of the top of this this time now you're basically done but as i said i'm gonna do the lashes with the pen i quite like doing it with the pen because it makes it look slightly more realistic and more actually like a lash i'm going to make this just a full line this time Because you see the effect over there, I really like that, so that's why I most commonly use a pen to do this part. See it's coming shape. Now I'm not gonna do like the light. Now this eye looks a little more like an anime eye, if I'm gonna be honest. So again, like what I did with the other ones, I'm making this one quite high this time. And now, I don't know if you like always do this with an anime eye, but I'm doing like going, when you go inside, then you have the rest of the eye line. Shade that in. There we go. All done. Now I'm going to do like the actual eye part. So this looks a little more big. Almost like a cuboid, but like more round. Now again, shading that in. Now you have the circle in the middle. Now I'm going to erase a small circle of this. Now you have the basic structure of the eye and just fixing up the eye line part. So now you're gonna do, wait, let me fix that up. There we go. Now you're gonna do the under part of the eye. So this is like where the eyelashes would go. So again, I'm gonna just do this with pencil this time. You have the lashes. I'm not doing too many, like about four or five. I just did five. So now for the top, I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do it with the pen. So here, I'm not gonna do too many like what I did with the bottom. So I'll just do like about four or five or six of them. Now here is how the third one has turned out. I really like this one. You see how I told you it looks like more kind of like an anime eye. It kind of does, but kind of doesn't at the same time. But I hope you guys like this one. I'm gonna, I might do like two or three more. So this one is going to be kind of like a almond 
kind of shape for like a oval. Again, doing the tear duct. Again, I'm gonna do like make this a circle. I'm gonna make the lashes. For these type of eyes, I don't always do like these type of lashes. So again, making the shine of the eye overlap with the pupil. Coloring that in. I shade that. And you're basically done, but again, I like to do the top part with pen. There you go. There you go, and I'm doing the same with the bottom underneath. And there you go with the last one. Well, I don't think it actually is the last one. I think I might do one more. I don't know what mine should be. I think I might do something like that again. So I'll do it over here. Again, like the other ones. I do like to make the eye line too thick or else it just looks a little bit too much. Now you have the under part. Again, like that. Now I'm gonna actually like put in the shine and the uh, eyeball. I'm not making these overlap this time though. There you go, make it slightly more dark. I'm gonna shade in all of it this time. This one might not look as good as the other ones because I don't exactly know like too many eye shapes but these ones I know them quite well. Right, again doing the lashes with the pen. I'm gonna do the same like what I did with the bottom over here then make the lashes like that for the others. I know it may, may not be working. There we go. No small ones for underneath. There we go. And now we have the last one all done. Here is all five of the eyes that I've shown you to draw today. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Comment if you want to see more drawing tutorials, maybe how to draw lips, how to draw noses, hair, a whole bunch of stuff. Comment down below if you want to see it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!